Hi guys, Aston Parsons here for Aston's Expressway. And yes, you've guessed it, that's why you've clicked on it. It's another fabulous Friday feast, yeah! And this week is the fourth fabulous Friday feast. And it is a very special one. And why is that? Well, it's because I've actually cooked something. I've actually cooked something. Uh, you'll probably see obviously what it is from the... Uh, from the thumbnail, but uh, yeah, oh, oh, we'll talk about a great British classic. But anyway, let's get into the video, let's get the grub going down. So let's just go bish bash bosh. So look at this, guys. We are looking at a very traditional British uh, meal. Perhaps more a winter thing. I'm probably preempting winter a bit here. We have got obviously what you can see here. We have got high quality high meat sausages. Uh, we have got some uh, mashed potato, which is looking a little yellow because um, I'm like Delia Smith. I do not skimp on the butter. Okay, uh, plenty of pepper and salt, and the green stuff you can see on either, either side. It's not guacamole. It's mushy stuff that I do like because I'm eating a mushy dinner. This is uh, mushy peas, which is quite a British kind of thing. So, but hang on. Something's missing, and you Brits will know what's missing, because you can't have sausage and mash and peas without the gravy. Oh, look what Daddy got for you! Here we go. You thought you guys would like to see the poor. So there we go. Oh, Daddy, I love her. Oh, oh, look at that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Onion gravy yumminess. Just put this back in the kitchen. Ooh. Ooh. Well, guys, um, like I say, a lot of effort's gone into this for me, but I wanted to do this for you. I wanted to make up for uh, Friday's last disaster where everything went wrong. Uh, nothing has gone wrong yet, so I'm just checking a few things. So I'm doing an extra audio thing with the microphone here. Because there's going to be a normal uh, Fabulous Friday Feast, and then there's going to be an ASMR kind of spin-off that will come a lot, lot later. So that won't come out for a few days, guys. But, um, oh, now, something did go wrong. I tried to get the sausages to stand up in a crown. You know, make it a crown of sausage, but uh, that, no, they weren't having any of that. So, guys, enough messing about. Let's uh, let's get stuck into this fabulous Friday feast. So, what are you guys having, as always, I ask? Um, why don't you put below what you guys are getting yourself into today, food-wise? And, uh, yeah, hope you're having a good Friday night. Oh, look at that. Premium British Chipolata Tesco Finest Sausages. Mmm. Yeah, that is good. Mmm. I'm not going to be as chatty as I normally am for the next 10 minutes, guys. Okay, I've got to wait. And you know, <laughs> I like to gas on like hell. I'm sure it's another you think. Just get on with the food, will you? So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Look, I've got my microphone here for the ASMR. Let's see how good we can get that kind of going. Mm. Oh, I'm getting so many flavours here, guys. This is, this is. Too, I've done this this meal a few times, but I've really worked hard to make it the best. There's so many flavours here. Got some beautiful mash dripping in butter. Pepper and salt, uh, mushy peas all peppered up because that's all yummy, and these wonderful sausages. Oh, mm. Mm. oh! I've told you before, guys. I don't cook often, but I can cook. It's just that I struggle doing it for one person. But I'm doing it for you. I'm eating this all for you because I'm a good guy. And uh, some of you may be on a diet, I know you can't eat things like this, but okay, I'll do it. I always take one for the team, remember that. Oh, 
Look at these sausages, they are cooked to perfection. Oh, damn it, when I try, I'm good. Foodgasm. Mm. Mm. Foodgasm face. Let's get some onions. Because I love me some onions. Mm. That's good. That is good. Just look at it, guys. Just, it's just. I try not drip this everywhere, but there's the mash. There's you see the peas on the back there. Oh. Gravy is congealing beautifully, just like you need it. Oh, look at that, guys. Ooh. Beautiful, fine quality British sauce. There's a lot of crap sausages out there, but these are Tesco finest. They know what they're doing. Mm. I'm going to try with a spoon instead because I'll be able to shovel a lot more in. And right now I'm in for the shoveling. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that guy. Oh, man. I've got it all down me already, but. Oh, that's not why you're here. That's not why you're here. You're here for many reasons, but if you want some of that, you want some of that heart. Come here. The great British mukbang. I mean, if there's a dish from British mukbang, you, it's right there. I don't, I'm not sure if you guys in America really do sausage and mass, do you? I don't think that's the thing. I know you, you like sausages, but it's always a breakfast sausage thing. Well, over here, we we like sausages at any time. We'll take our pork at any time of the day. We will. Oh, this. Oh, that's just a little... Um, um, apple juice. Yeah, it's apple juice. All right, moving on. Mm. Guys, this is hardcore eating. I mean. You know, um, I've got no age restrictions, I don't think, from what I can tell. But after this, I'm not sure because, I mean, this is food porn, isn't it? This is extreme food porn. Let's not get more hardcore food-wise than this. Oh, look, look at that quality meat in that sausage. That's what you want to see, that nice white... 
good chunky, you know, pork bits. Not not like the husk and the cereal they put in a lot of commercial sausage. To be honest, eighty percent of the sausages on British shelves are just awful. You really have to hunt out the good stuff. Mm. Mm. The thing I love about, I mean, this is a winter meal. I mean, it's a bit too warm tonight for this. I'm, so, I'm sweating like a pig in a pork pie factory, if I'm honest. Especially cooking it, having all the hobs on. But I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it. I wanted to make up to you guys. Apologies for last last Fridays, but um, but I hope you enjoyed the the Monday Monday mini mukbang. Uh, did a bit of a chicken mayo thing there. So check that out, check that out if you haven't seen that. Mm. Magnifique. Bellissimo. Let's go for some, let's have some seductive sausage action. Mmm. Oh, oh! Haven't had good tasting sausage in these chops for ages, I tell you. Make sure you can keep seeing these lovely sausages because there's everywhere. There's about eight or nine of them. Oh, the, <laughs> there's almost a butter trail coming out of the potatoes this side. But you, you, you've got to get your butter, a splash of uh, milk as well, and a lot of salt and pepper. Mm. Now I've been told by guests before I make a good mashed potato. They don't skimp on the good stuff. My um, my mum loved a very famous British cook that you won't perhaps remember unless you're over forty, called Delia Smith. And she was well, she's a very wealthy cook. She sold her in the late eighties and nineties. I think she's retired now. But if you're not retired yet, Delia, apologies. But I just thought you might be retired. But Every dish was just brimming with like the good stuff. You know, Delia makes a cake and she's there with the butter and oh there we go, there's the butter. Oh, it just slipped another quarter pound in but never mind, it'll taste good. And she's my kind of cook because she doesn't get neurotic about calories. Now my philosophy of mine now guys, if you're gonna cook, cook, do it properly. If you're gonna diet, diet. Do it properly, okay? The two do totally different things. I mean, I've gone on dinner and that pizza mukbang about these these healthy pizzas with the, the you know the rocket lettuce and this, you know just fresh to no. Don't try and make a pizza healthy. It's a comfort food. It's ridiculous. Just because you hipsters like them in your pretentious little metro cafes. Well, you spend fifteen quid for a bit of dough with some rocket lettuce on if you want. Fine, cool. I'm not gonna. But what I am going to do is gorge on some gorgeous sausage, gravy, onions, and mushy peas. I don't want this really. I, I don't want this. It's, it's, it's purely for you.
I'll do this for you guys, you know. Mm. Mm. Oh, these sausages are cooked to perfection. Pan fried, pan fried. Lightly pan fried with the onions. And then the onions, you take the sausage out, put the onions in with the gravy. But hey, perhaps we'll do a cooking. If any of you are interested in show you me cook. Doing a lot more smug snacks. That's that's a series coming up later in the year. Uh, kind of economy smug snacks. For when you you know you need something tasty, but hey, you're on you're on a budget. So look out for that. But that's coming up in the future. You are making a dent in it, it's just on the other side. Although, guys, I confess now you know about me and stomach capacities. You know, I wanted to show something really good, but for those of you thinking, oh, he hasn't finished it tonight, we're, no, I won't finish all this tonight, but it will be reheated. I don't, there's not a grain of rice get waste in this food. I have a very, very small income, and I can't afford to waste food, so. Mm. Uh, a little more uh, apple juice to wash it down. Yeah, apple juice. Oh, God. Oh, I'm sweating. So I'm going to come out the kitchen. It's not that hot in here, but the boys in manufacturing downstairs are like who are not used to big meals. I've explained that many times before. They're currently saying. What the is going on? What the is going on? Oh, oh sorry. Because, um, yeah, those boys are going to be on full shift for the next uh, several hours, let's say that. I don't care, you're not having a pay rise down there, damn it. I don't care about inflation, no. Hmm. Oh, don't, don't you? I mean, these onions are fried first before they're put in the gravy. And, oh. oh, I love fried onions, be they like deep fried onion rings or like pan fried. Oh, onions are just great. They're, to me, they're like a superfood. And this wasn't a very expensive meal. You know, um, let's put it all together. Well, it's no more than four pounds. And like this portion here for two or three people. Um, and I've already eaten a couple of sausages in a sausage sandwich yesterday. Oh, naughty. I know. Meant to be into a bit of fancy. But, um, yeah, four pounds or. Oh, the pound's collapsing against the dollar. So, any conversion rates I've given you before pounds to dollars, uh, do not look at them on current prices. I mean, it's. Actually got the screen up, I think it's about one fifteen or something. So yeah, I'd say four pounds. Four fifty dollars, something like that. But you've got to pick the right sausages. You cannot do this dish skimping, okay? I mean, you'll need a good, you know. 
let's say a good percentage of a pack of butter. You will need a couple of big onions, you need a can of mushy peas, and a nice pack of sausage. Yeah, gotta have gravy though. You gotta have gravy with this dish. I mean, it works without, but nah, it's not right without it. Mm. I think that's me kind of poop now, guys. You saw how big this plate was and how much gravy I put on it, like pallet gravy, wasn't it? And, um, yeah, I'm, like I say, guys, I'm, I may be a fat bugger, but I know when to stop eating. My stomach tells me when to stop eating. But this has been just, mwah, total bellissimo, magnifique, whatever you want to say. I hope you've enjoyed it guys, I really do. Like I say, nobody say I waste food because like all this is going to get eaten. So, don't worry. <laughs> I don't have the money to even waste a grain of food, I can't, I can't. But anyway, um, oh, oh, and that's saying the tank is full. Before the guys down in the stomach department go on strike. Because we have enough strikes as it is in England. Anyway, guys, thanks for being here. As always, I do appreciate both your company, and uh, I really appreciate your likes. Oh, oh, pretty pleased with Cherry on top. And, uh, yeah, yeah, if you want to see more mukbangs, there's plenty on the site already. I think this is my eighth mukbang in four weeks. So, um, you know, as you might say, knock yourself out. So, there you go. Um, yeah, join me on Monday, please, where I'm finally, finally going to be at Taco Bell. Uh, that's another town, because they're still building my Taco Bell here in uh, where I am. And, uh, yeah, so but I've already called corporate about that. We'll get that sorted. Yeah. But anyway, Taco Bell on Mondays for a quick visit. Uh, the next Friday, a week today, uh, I finally get my Chinese. And if you've been following Fabulous Friday Feast, you know that this has been a drama. Uh, me getting some Chinese food and... Um, excuse me. <coughs> That will be happening next Friday. So uh, don't don't worry, I will be cooking again. Um, I think a lot more Friday faces will be cooked food uh, because of the prices of things, uh, because uh, prices are just going up by the day and quality is going down, takeouts that were good, cutting corners. So um, Monday mukbangs will always be um, out there in the franchises because that's what they're about in the car. Uh, Friday's about something a bit more special. So anyway, I hope you're having a lovely Friday night. And uh, I truly do. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate any likes. I'm Aston Parsons. This is Aston's Expressway. And I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Have a great Friday night. Don't drink too much. Bye-bye.